This is the mall. Or so it is called. A restaurant, a shop, a theater, a plop. A place to be seen amongst hallways so clean. So many things to so many people. A commerce collection with a great Best Buy steeple. The guys and the dolls, they all gather here. They're smiling, what fun, as they strive to appear. Like the stars on TV, on a great shopping spree. Or the gamers addicted to Halo and thefts, who come to the mall to begin a great quest. Or the hipsters too cool to be a capitalist tool. You'll find them all around in this small walled in town. But amongst them one man stands alone in his ways. He comes to the mall to set panic ablaze. But wait, I forget, you know not this man's tale. He's a man amongst men, save for one small detail. His golf game is great, he shoots under par. At work he's an ace, drives a company car. And his family, well, see, they love him quite dearly. But his problem, oh dear, will appear all too clearly. For in this man amongst men, this one small detail, is a fear of the mall and all it entails. He dreads the long corridors, the bright colored lights, the hipsters too cool, the young girls in tights. He shudders to think of those fluorescent nights. The people, their bags, the gamers, the foes, the lovers are kissing, the fear only grows. The smells so alarming like styrofoam plates, the masses surrounding, do they ever abate? Commercials, they're yelling like a mixed up stump preacher. Buy me, watch this, wear these shiny sneakers. And the tiny machines, they eat all your quarters. Escalators turn round, those movers exploit us. Slow down, stirred up sir, said Dr. Von Gleedable. Though kooky and queer, your fears are quite beatable. You are suffering, see, from shop centrophobia. The treatment is quick, the treatment is painless. The treatment is facing your mall's neon strobias. Every day you will go, you will hunker and watch. How foolish you've been to fear stores in a box. Those tweens you will see, and mommy's boys too, your sessions will show that they're no threat to you. So each day this man went. He hunkered, he watched, but the sights did not soothe him. The plan had been botched. Something else was occurring. His fear grew and grew. Something else was afoot. This feeling was new. While his panic augmented, he began to adore it, like a boy in a hollow set to explore. The signing loomed larger, the people drew closer, his fear pounded louder. He loved it. His home. Home was different. It was not very loud. It didn't smell funny. It was not at all proud. But something was missing. His home didn't have it. That spark a man needs. One without it must grab it. Here's his wife softly spoken. My dear, our boy Johnny's ill. Yes, but honey pie at seven. Are the steaks on the grill? See, our friend was completed. Had found his true love. Not his wife, nor his Johnny, but a mall sent from above. He went to a shrink, so merry and gay. Doc, I'm cured, he exclaimed in his rapturous way. I quit that dumb job. My golf days are through. I live in the mall, and I'm no longer blue. He strolled from the office, stepping light as a feather. He daydreamed once more of the mall's greatest pleasures. All the food court's frights, and the awful bright lights. All the tights on too tight, and the once lover's fights. One day he returned to his house, what a bore. He walked up the steps, he opened the door. His dear wife sat crying. The dawning began. His boy had been dying, and he'd only ran. Though with a life terrifying, this was no man.